Nathan Judo and I'm here at a very snowy Compton Park, very chilly Compton Park with Mr. Timothy Spears. Tim, just been to Nuno's press conference, uh, pre-Sunderland. Yes. Let's get an update so far about, about the situation here, the weather, you know, the game, um, potentially in doubt. What, what's, the, what's the latest? Well, the game won't be played here, uh, as far as I know. I can tell... <laughs> <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> the game won't be played here. I, I can confirm that. Yes. You've totally ruined my coat. That's absolutely unbelievable. Next best. Uh, it's River Island. Oh. It's um, sales. So it's all, all around Molyneux gritted. Obviously they've got undersoil heated. Yes. So uh, you know, unless there's a massive deluge of snow tonight, which we'll wait and see, mm -hmm. then I think if the game was on this afternoon, it'd be fine. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, but um, supporter safety is the main issue, I would have thought. For all of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so no, uh, the, 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 there won't be a problem with the pitch. Undersoil heat is fine. That's, that's, the, that's the issue when games are called up in the, in the top flight or championship these days. Yes. It's all about support safety. You don't want to be slipping around on your way to Molyneux when, no. you, when you get there at five to three. Five uh, to three, please. I wasn't even talking about you. Okay. I don't know what your problem is. That's all right. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so it's all about it's all about round the outside, but it's all been gritted anyway. So you know they're, they're prepared for it. And uh, Nuno is prepared for it, obviously, like he says every week. But it's, it's understandable and it's working. The, the focus is on is on Sunderland, and nobody else. Yeah, same mantra week after week. You know they're not thinking about allegedly not thinking about where they are on the table, allegedly not not looking ahead. Uh, so yeah, it's all about it's all about Sunderland. You know he's done his preparation. He said Chris Coleman's changed things up a bit there trying to uh, implement his style onto the team and everything. So yeah. they have made some changes. I think they've gone 4 one 4 one a bit more defensive, trying to grind out some results. Mm -hmm. um, they, I mean, they've gotten away win recently, which is... <laughs> yeah. They won a game. Yeah, they've only won two all uh, season. Yeah, so. exactly. So, um, no, he's a, he's a very good manager, and they've got a horrendous injury crisis, which falls into Wolves' favour as well. But, yeah, another one not to be wary of, like Bolton. Absolutely. Um, and team news, Roman says, is, is probably the, the main doubt, would you say, ahead of the game? Yeah, so he limped off towards the end of the 1-0-1 at Blues on Monday. I mean, Nuno says... What did he say? Um, we'll, we'll, so he's, he's, he's got a chance. He said he's, he's got a chance, we'll have a look at him, but he didn't sound very convincing to me, so... I would predict probably not involved. So would you say so? Let's say he's not involved, or let's say at worst, you know, he's, he's on, or at best he's on the bench. Would you say yep. Sason and Jai, or would you say Price maybe getting a chance? I think Price and Neves are probably too similar to play together. Okay. Uh, and Jai didn't really take his chance against Blues on, on Monday. I, I didn't really. Think it could have been a lot worse. He could have had a ban. Well, yeah, he should have been. Oh, absolutely. That's a good point. You know, yeah, the Wolves, <laughs> Wolves would be in a bit of bother <laughs> if if he uh, probably should have been sent off. Mm. Yeah. So he didn't, he didn't really impose himself on the midfield. I don't think he really said, you know, pick me for the next game. No. Do you know? But, um, but with Sace being out, he'll probably get the opportunity again because I think Neves and Price are too similar. And, and not too many changes we see apart from that? I, I would doubt it. I would very much doubt it. Um, you know, we'll see. Um, I mean, they've got the coming since Christmas. Te technically, it's a midweek game, but it was Monday. They've already proved that they can do two games in four days or yeah. whatever. The busy Christmas period coming up. I don't know who you'd bring in, really. I, I don't know who you'd leave out. Costa, the, Jota, Jota rest potentially. I, I mean, I, I, I doubt, I doubt it. I, yeah. th I thought he looked great against Blues in patches on on Monday. Yeah. So, and you've got you've got the the option of Costa after an hour as he tends to do. So I don't envisage any changes. Donovan no. Wilson coming in. <laughs> I don't think so. Why are you saying that? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm trying to I'm trying to change it up. Um, <laughs> this is not going to happen. Um, but you know, he's, he's... If, if you're watching Donovan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. It, it might happen. It might happen. It might happen. It, might happen. it won't. Um, Diego Jota. They spoke to Diego Jota earlier on before yeah. Nuno came in. Um, had some nice nice words to say about about getting kicked, basically. So he's he's coping with it okay. I mean, we we've, we've nice saw lad it. by the way. He is, he is really nice lad. He's very very humble, mm. loving 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 life as they all are at the moment. So yeah, he's been gets kicked to Kingdom Come most games, and he was certainly targeted by Blues. You yeah. know, first ten minutes he's had two crunching tackles on him already. Uh, there's a few more throughout the game, but he, he gets himself up and he and he gets on with it. You, yeah. you, you, you can tell when you're watching the game that he's yes, he's annoyed by it. I'm sure. But he gets on with it. He gives a bit back as mm -hmm. well. He give him a bit of a mm -hmm. kick in, which I think you have to do. And he said know. that as well, though. Yeah, yeah abso good. absolutely. So, and he says he's, he's adapted. I asked, he, he said he'd adapted physically to the championship. So I asked him how, and he said not really in terms of his body, but in terms of his mind. So he's prepared for these strong tackles. He knows he's going to get them. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you get enough protection from the referees? And he said, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Which is what I guess you, I guess that's going to happen. So yeah, but like I said, I think he's. 
at least he's happy that he's starting to get a bit of protection from referees and people are starting to look at him okay albeit on, on the other night he should have been should have been sent off but he knows that the referees are starting to, to get used to yeah, it as I well think now he's, I think he's also a, getting targeted he, kno he knows that yeah he said uh, the referees are aware of it and, and of course they are and you know Wolves probably moan more than most teams but mm -hmm. you know these are the laws of the game we're yes. talking about here so yeah they need that protection because if someone if someone gets a broken leg as Jota could easily have done mm -hmm. on Monday mm -hmm. then it's a huge problem for for Wolves for the player and, and, for, and for the referees and everybody so that's the last thing we want uh, Bumper crowd expected? Yeah, I think pretty decent crowd. Ips Ipswich is looking like a near sell out, the Wolves were saying yesterday, so I'm sure Sunderland will bring a few as mm -hmm. well. So it's all about keeping that momentum going and going into seventh heaven. Uh, with, seventh heaven, with, is that really? 60 times to seventh heaven? Uh, the, he the headlines are written already, so. What's eight? What's eight? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. That's terrible. It ha is. Hateful eight. Oh, no, that's rubbish. No, that's terrible. That's we need to work on that. All right. Well, I've got, work got, on that for Chef Wednesday. Got a couple of weeks to think about that. <laughs> so, as against Bolton, it's all about avoiding complacency, setting the tone from the off. I mean, they got an early goal against Bolton. They got an early goal against Blues. Mm. That that'd be perfect tomorrow. You know, when Wolves concede first, they lose. Yes. I think I'm I think I'm right saying on the three occasions they've lost, they've conceded first. If they score first, mm. they win every game except for Bristol City. So it just shows you how important that first goal is. If Wolves yeah. get it, you can't really see anything else but a home oh, win. Oh, 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 it nearly went flat on wish. I'd pay 100 <laughs> quid for that to happen right now. Where's Prince slipping? That's one for the bloopers, but I'm keeping it in this oh, one as well. Right. Excellent, we better, we better go. Uh, yeah, we from... had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, for all the pre-match reaction of the builder, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.